Hey guys, this is Lloyd from DTW Life and Tover Landing. Today we're going to install some ditch lights and ditch light brackets on my 2019 GMC Canyon. So stick around and we will get to it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is install these brackets. Uh, these are from GS Power on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, and these fit right on the hood mounts. I don't know if you can see that, but they'll go right there. Um, one thing that I want to point out about doing this is when you loosen these bolts, uh, these the holes in the hood mount uh, are wider than the size of the of the stud that comes out of here um, so you want to make sure you mark uh, your hood position before you loosen these bolts uh, i've got it to where i can pretty much hold this and and be pretty sure that it's not going to move a whole lot um, but it's a good idea to just to always just to mark that just to make sure so I'm just going to use a, a China marker and I'll just come in here and and mark this whole outline. So just in case something moves, you have a general idea of where that needs to go back. Because uh, if you get it too far out of whack, your hood's not going to want to close correctly. So first thing we'll do is loosen these guys. What I like to do, and I don't know if this is necessary, but uh, since I've already done the passenger side on this truck, I learned that I can go ahead and put this through here and get uh, one bolt started and hold it on there. And then I can still come back in here and work this through. Uh, when I take the other one off, it just makes it a little less likely that you're gonna uh, move that hood out of position. And now I say that, and that's not going to work on this side. You know, it's it's funny, these vehicles, you know, you think everything is so precise, but from one side to the next, there could be just enough clearance uh, that makes that not work. So what I'm going to resort to here is going ahead and taking both of these off. So this is where it gets a little tricky because you want to make sure you don't move your hood position. So what I'm going to do is just hold this here. All right, and we can slide our bracket right on there. And these have a little bit of an adjustment, a little bit of a slotted area. I'm sliding these all the way to the front on my truck. Uh, you know, that's that's totally up to you. If you do that on yours, you may want to play around with it and see if you get a better position some other way. But so far, I think that's going to work for this application. I 
I've got these pretty much tight. I do see that my hood position moved just a tiny bit. So what I want to do is get the wrench on here and get it started and then adjust my hood back to my line where I want it to be. And then just tighten it back. And then that's on there. Okay, so here we have our installed bracket. You can see this is the portion that sticks out where your light will mount. And then under here, you can see where we've got that mounted to the hood mount. This is a good time now to go ahead and check the function of your hood, just to make sure everything still closes correctly. That seems to work. On to the next step. All right, before we get started with the actual install, I wanted to tell you about these lights. Uh, these are from Neo Evo, an Amazon brand, uh, is what I refer to them as. Um, these folks reached out to me about testing these uh, for them, so uh, I agreed and they uh, got these to me and I'll be maybe testing some other products for them in the future. Uh, but I'm going to put these on to see how they work out, and I will keep you guys posted. Uh, if you're interested in these, uh, they're a fairly inexpensive light. I'll put the link to these in the description at the bottom. Uh, two lights came in the package. Each has a mounting bracket, and all the mounting hardware that you need also came with the wrench that fits the, the screws that, that come with it. So that's actually a pretty nice touch for uh, an inexpensive product. I'll go ahead and get one of these assembled and we'll get ready to install it. Okay, so here is our installed light. Um, fairly straightforward, uh, just a, a nut and a bolt. Uh, the, the mounting bolt is a 9 16 and a half inch nut. Um, one thing I did want to point out is, I don't know if you can see in here, these guys have a a nut on a bolt, a hex head screw, uh, and this was a little difficult to get those down in there and get them all lined up and get it, it caught and started. So uh, that was that was a little tricky, but uh, it wasn't terrible. But other than that, that's, that's pretty much uh, the way that installs. I'll get the other one on the other side and then we'll start wiring them up. All right, so we're all wired up. Um, not completely finished with the install, but I wanted to show you kind of how I did the, the wiring. Um, and I, I didn't concentrate on a whole lot of showing you guys uh, while I was wiring because uh, that's kind of personal preference. And I guess everybody's gonna have a, have a way that they wanna do it or, or a way that's gonna fit their needs the best. Um, I wanted mine for the time being to be hooked up to the same remote switch that I have for my front light bar. So I uh, installed that here so that uh, when I hit that remote switch, all of my lights will come on. Um, it's probably not the optimum way to do it. I plan to add a trigger switch to this truck uh, in the next few months, but I wanted to get this done and have these ready for a trip in a few days. So I did it the quickest way I could think of and just wired it into that same switch so I'll get all these uh, heat, heat shrink fittings uh, shrunk and I'll put some conduit, a uh, little plastic wire wrap on, on all of this and stow it away really well. And that will be the end of this install. So I'm gonna get this closed up and turn them on and show you what they look like. All right, so here we are. We got the hood closed, we got everything uh, attached. Um, and almost complete. I got some finishing up to do on the inside, but I figured this was good enough to show you guys. Uh, this is the little remote that I was telling you guys about that uh, works my uh, front light bar. Um, so I've got all this wired together now. So what happens when I push this button is I get all the lights. 
And since these are a multifunction uh, ditch light, turning them off and then back on cycles through the functions. I know that's probably not the optimum way to do that, but I didn't want to install the, the special harness for, that they provided to, to do that. Like I say, I'm going to do something different eventually. But uh, So if you turn them off and then back on, you get the next function. And you can cycle through all those in case you want to stop your friends when you're on the trail. Um, have some strobes. And then that's that. So that wraps this one up. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, if you learned something or if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, and make sure you punch that notification bell so you don't miss any of our cool content. Until then, tread lightly, happy trails, and don't forget to leave it better than you found it. See ya.